Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about what you need to know for the AP Biology exam if you're taking it this year. So I'm recording this video in 2025, which means your AP Biology exam, if you're watching this video this year, is on May 5th, 8 a.m. local time. Now if you're taking the exam in future years, be sure to check the College Board's calendar for when that exam might be, but this year, again, 2025, the exam is on May 5th. This year the exam is going to be a little bit different than in past years because it is a hybrid digital exam. Now what does that mean? It means that part of the exam is going to be taken on computers and part of the exam is going to be done on paper by hand. Which parts? The multiple choice questions are going to be done on a computer or other similar device and the free response questions are going to be displayed on the computer but you're going to write your responses by hand in an answer book. So the way this is done is through the Blue Book testing app which means if you've taken the SAT or any other college board test in this app before you know what it looks like but your schools and teachers will probably be preparing you and giving you the instructions on how to download this app or have it already downloaded on school provided devices. If you're doing this program on a tablet it is advised that you bring a keyboard for the day of the exam Exam, but you can check out all of the information on that in the links I'll provide in the description below. If you are bringing your own device, you want to make sure it is fully charged on the day of the exam or bring a charger so that you can have your charge for the three to four hours it'll take you to take the exam. Now, what else will you need on the AP Biology exam besides your device? Well, pencil and pens with blue or black ink, and we'll talk a little bit more about what you can write in in a few minutes. You'll also need a calculator. Now, this is provided on the Blue Book app, but if you'd prefer using your own calculator, pretty much any graphing calculator, that does not connect to the internet is allowed on the AP Biology exam. Again, there's a whole list of approved devices and devices that are not allowed on the College Board's website, so check out the links in the video description if you want to make sure that your calculator is allowed. The graphing calculator that's provided on the AP Bio Blue Book app is a Desmos graphing calculator, so you don't need to worry about it only being for function, but if you're just more comfortable using your own calculator, you can bring it on the day of the test as long as it's on that list of acceptable devices. Now, the rest of the exam structure is pretty much the same. There are two sections, the multiple choice and the free response sections. The multiple choice section consists of 60 questions. It is one hour and 30 minutes long or 90 minutes long and it counts for 50% of your total exam score. Each multiple choice question will have four possible choices, A, B, C, or D, and sometimes there will be a larger experiment description or scenario that is presented to you and then several questions that follow up based on that scenario. Sometimes you're going to get graphs and data tables and diagrams, but every question on the multiple choice section, there's no writing or graphing involved in that section. In section two, the free response, this is where the actual writing will take place. This is also 90 minutes long. There are six total questions, two longer ones and four shorter ones, but each question has several subsections and it is recommended that you label each subsection with the part that you're responding to. So for example, in the first question, there could be an A, B, C, or D thing that you have to do. So as you're writing in your answer book, it is recommended that you label each part of your answer as A, B, C, or D as you go through. You do have to write your answers in complete sentences, which means no bullet points or one word answers, but you don't have to elaborate in a five paragraph essay. Just answer what the question is asking. Remember ATP for answer the prompt. You don't need to elaborate or give multiple examples if it only asks you for one or two. The first two questions on the free response are going to be asking you to interpret an experiment and its data. The second question is going to ask you to do a graph. So let's talk about that pen or pencil. Now this year pencils are allowed to be your writing utensil on the AP Biology exam and you're going to be actually writing in a physical answer book but remember your questions are going to be on a computer screen. However, a lot of teachers are still recommending that you write your answers in pen. If you make a mistake, just cross out your words with one line and continue on. The only place where I would recommend a pencil is doing the graph and then if you have time you can go over your graph in that blue or black ink pen. Be very careful with your erase marks because your answers are going to be photocopied to be graded by the readers when they are grading the exams. So the more smudges and marks and messy sections of your answer book, the harder it's going to be for the graders to read it. So make it as legible as possible, as dark as possible. Again, recommend using pen wherever possible. If you want more information on what these questions are going to be like and strategies for answering them, be sure to check out some of the videos I have on the free response questions long and short for the AP Bio exam, and I'll put links for those in the description of this video. If you have time for the test, I recommend taking a look at what this answer book is going to look like so you are aware 
aware of the space you'll be writing in. Again, it's not that different from any other AP exam you might have written on before, but the special answer book is where all your questions are going to be. You are not allowed to write outside the margins or outside the lines of the book, so just make sure you keep all of your responses in this designated space that's provided. Even though we're doing this hybrid format this year, it is recommended that you read through all the free response questions first and then strategize which ones are going to be the easiest for you to answer and answer those in the order that you think is best for you. So you are allowed to answer these questions out of order if you want. Remember to write as neatly and as legibly as possible if the graders can't read what you wrote or are having a hard time interpreting the words that you're spelling. Again, they're not going to count off for spelling, but if you are writing something that is totally illegible, then they can't give you points either. And remember, if you are asked to provide two examples, provide the best two that you have. Don't just list a bunch of examples because the graders are only going to count the first two in your list. Don't forget to label your graphs and include units where necessary. Now, if you're wondering if this digital exam is going to get your scores back any earlier, the answer is no. Your answers still have to be graded by the AP readers, which happens during the summer and all the readers gather together and grade all the responses at the same time. So you will still get your AP scores later on the summer. You will not get to see how you did on each answer. You will get a one, two, three, four, or five as your total score on the exam. And that will come out in the summer after the graders have graded all the exams. You cannot see what you got wrong, but you will be able to see the full list of free response questions a few days after the exam is completed. And there's a lot of discourse on the internet about what the right answers might have been up until the point where they actually release the scoring guidelines, which is the answer key. Once you see the scoring guidelines, you can go through and kind of self grade yourself if you can remember what you wrote on the exam. But my best advice here is that after the exam is just to disengage for a few days. Don't stress out about how you did or what your score might be because it is time for a mental break. My last few pieces of advice for the night before the exam are to make sure your alarms are set, have all your materials ready to go, make sure you know exactly where your exam is being held. Remember, you may not be in your AP Biology classroom when you're taking the exam, so be sure to double check with your teacher for where you'll actually be. Get there early, and if you want, you can bring a snack for the break, but remember, you can't have food with you while you're taking the exam. All other electronic devices have to be kept out of the exam room, which includes smartwatches, cell phones, all of those materials you cannot bring with you on the day of the exam. If you're taking your exam somewhere other than your own school, you do want to bring a photo ID, and again, pack that calculator if you want your own calculator with you on the day of the test. The night before the exam, try your best to get your best night's sleep possible, which means do not stay up all night cramming. Remember that information has to be stored in your brain in order for you to remember it, and without a good night's sleep, it's not going to happen. You can check out my last minute crash review video if you want to watch something to really cram right before the exam. I recommend doing as much of your studying as possible in the weeks and days leading up to the exam. Now, if you're watching this video and you're not quite ready to take the AP Biology exam, so you're going to take it next year, and you just wanted to see what things are about this year, remember that next year's AP Biology exam is going to be a slightly different because the content in the course and exam description is changing just a little bit and I will have some videos on those updates in the upcoming months to prepare for next year's school year. So be sure to subscribe if you want to hear more about those updates which are launching in the 2025-2026 school year or if you want more information on life science and life lessons from any of the videos on this channel. What other questions do you have leading up to the AP Biology exam? Good luck with your last minute studying. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.